Hello, it's Mike here. I uh, hope you're enjoying your day or your evening wherever you are. Uh, something I wanted to share with you today that's a really fascinating topic I came across recently and one I've been reading into quite a bit lately uh, is called game theory. And the reason I bring this up is that I think it has a lot of application to fitness and how we approach our training and nutrition. So bear with me to the end here as I explain a little bit more about it because understanding this is really important and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Okay, so in game theory, there's a particular classification of games that I want to talk about and that is finite games versus infinite games. So for a quick rundown on exactly what these are, uh, so finite games can be described as typical and familiar contests of everyday life. An example of this might be a game of sport or a game you play to win like Monopoly. And these games are called finite games because they're played in order to be won and once the game is won, the game is over. In finite games, there are fixed rules and the overall agreed upon objective is to win. Now, infinite games, on the other hand, are games that are more arbitrary and a little bit more intriguing. Uh, the objective of infinite games is not winning, but instead to ensure the continuation of play and ensuring that the game never comes to an end. For instance, uh, some of you might be familiar with the classical game Dungeons and Dragons, where you're a character who plays amongst other people, where the objective of the game is not to beat anyone, uh, but to simply keep the narrative going and advance the game forward together. Anyway, if you're not familiar with the game, you can look it up online later. But for now, just know that it's an infinite game and that the purpose of the game is continuing the gameplay and to keep it going. Now, the thing about finite and infinite games is that we play these games all the time in our lives and we often do so unknowingly. Uh, for instance, marriage can be seen as an infinite game with two players with the goal of continuing on in love forever after, while a university degree, on the other hand, or getting good scores on a test, can be seen as a finite game with an ending and a result. And the problem that often arises for many of us is that when we encounter a game, we think we are playing a finite game when in fact it's more often than not an infinite game. And people even approach life itself as a finite game and talk about winning in life or succeeding uh, as the goal. But how do you do that when the critical objective in life is to survive and success is really arbitrary and depends on the person? Another good example to illustrate the mismatch of finite and infinite games is the game of business. And many people who play the game of business do so with the objective of winning and they want to dominate their market or crush their competitors. But what is the agreed objective amongst all the competitors and how do you win in business and when is the exact end point to the game? Does it end because you have more profit than a competitor? Uh, is it because you have more of a market share than someone else? Uh, is it because there's more resources than a rival that marks success in the end of the game? I mean, none of these is ever agreed upon by all the players and there's no clear end point in business. And this is why business is mistaken for a finite game when in fact it's an infinite one. You don't ever win and if you stop playing another business simply takes your place and the game continues on. I mean think about it, uh, if the phone you're holding in your hand right now disappears tomorrow, I'm sure you'll soon have another one to take its place. Now when you mistake an infinite game for a finite game like this, you'll always lose. Uh, when you're in an infinite game there's inherent instability between a player who is playing to win and a player who is playing to keep the game going. In an infinite game, where the player who plays the game as in an infinite game will always come out on top of a finite game player because their objective is not about outplaying, but it's instead about outlasting. And a good example of this is the current situation in Afghanistan. Uh, the US went in to win a war against terror, whereas the Taliban's goal was to simply survive and outlast their enemies. Hence, the US got sick of playing the game and decided to leave Afghanistan, and so the Taliban immediately resumed power. So you're probably wondering where I'm going with this and how it all relates to your fitness goals. Well, for most of us from a very young age, we were raised to play finite games. For example, you're taught to do well and aim for an A on your scorecard at school. You compete against other players in a team to win in sports. You enter competitions to get prizes, etc. Now, when it comes to infinite games, uh, a lot of us are a lot less versed in these. And the only one most of us have been taught to play properly is survival and staying alive. You're not really taught about how to succeed in the infinite games of life like relationships or marriage and you can't approach these as a finite game player. I mean, you can't win in marriage. It's like saying, I've succeeded in marriage because the other person said yes when the goal of marriage is to stay married and to stay in love, not just to get a ring on the finger, though some people often approach it that way. Anyway, it's the same with wanting a kid uh, and being a parent. You don't succeed as a parent when the baby pops out. Parenting goes on and the parent has to continue to mature with the child. And when it comes to getting in shape and how many of us relate to our fitness goals, uh, unfortunately a lot of people have the issue of staying in shape because they similarly view this as a finite game and not an infinite one. They're like, yay, I lost a huge amount of weight so I can eat whatever I want now. Or I've done it now and I'm in shape and I don't have to train hard anymore. 
And this is how people approach it and they think that following ABC diet for a few months or completing a program or finishing a 12 week challenge is the answer and then they're all set forever afterwards. But the word fitness is a very broad and transient term. Uh, there's no winning in fitness because there's no end of the game. Uh, you can be fit in your own way one day but unfit weeks later because you stop playing the game. You can stop eating lean and go back to being fat and overweight. You can stop strength training and start being weaker and so on and so forth. Therefore, your success in being fit and in shape is not defined by one session or one workout program or a single diet plan. The objective is to improve yourself from week to week on a consistent and continual basis. And in knowing this for yourself, that fitness is an infinite game and not a finite one, it makes you looking at being fit and in shape in a completely different light. It makes you think about the game on a whole other level and it makes you play the game completely differently. It makes you think about your workouts differently and the importance of injury prevention and longevity. It makes you think about your nutrition in a way that works longer term and is sustainable. It makes you think about how you can have a routine that keeps you going instead of one that eventually burns you out and a whole lot of other things too. Your whole objective then becomes not about getting fit and in shape, but instead about being fit and in shape. And I encourage you to start seeing your training and nutrition this way too, uh, because if you don't, you'll always feel defeated and you're never making progress because you're trying to play and win as a finite game player in an infinite game that's about ongoing continuity. That's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope it resonated with you and got you thinking more, not only about your fitness goals, but also other areas of your life as well. Feel free to like this video if you found it helpful, and don't forget to drop a comment below with your feedback or any questions that you may have. Thanks and see you next time.